Welcome to The Genetic Code. I'm your host, Jeanette Collins. This podcast is designed to take you one episode at a time on an intimate journey of your own personal transformation. Each podcast will have tools and techniques for you to practice in your daily life to create the very best version of you. Let's get started. Energy field. We are more than these physical bodies. We have the illusion that we are physical entities. We are energy fields. We are all made of energy, and wherever we go, we bring our energy. The beliefs and thoughts that we live by create the energy field around us, called us. These energies are not separate. Everything we do in our lives is connected through this invisible energy field. Everything is energy. The air is energy. The people around you are energy. The land, nature, animals, your home, the furniture in your home is all energy. We can and do affect others with our energies. Energies are communication. It's all information that we are broadcasting to the world, who we believe we are by our energy, which we create through our beliefs and our thoughts. Notice when you feel down, you may say, I don't have the energy to do that. Or when you're feeling great, you may say, I'm bursting with energy. The emotions we have and the way we feel is information about the kind of energy we will attract or produce around us. This is why I have been talking to you about becoming aware of your thoughts and emotions, seeing that you have a choice in every moment to decide how you want to think and feel and act. Each time you choose an emotion to live by, and remember, emotions are energy in motion, you are responsible for the energy field around you. What is the energy message that you are broadcasting right now? Are you sending out, I'm a victim? I'm sick and overwhelmed? My life is a mess? Or or are you sending out information that you are love? Life is amazing, and you're in service of others in love and compassion. Each second of your life, you are the chooser of which emotion you want to build your energy body out of. We feed ourselves with the emotions or energies in motion that we most believe are true. So as we are choosing, and in the end, we really have the final say how to choose, how we choose to think and feel. Wouldn't it make sense for us then to choose a greater way of feeling? One of the greatest gifts we have in this world is our ability to choose. No one can make you feel or think in any way that you don't give your consent to. Whether you do it consciously or unconsciously, it's the same. This is why it's very valuable to become aware of how you think and feel, so you can direct the flow of your own life, and you feed your energy body the way you want to. Do you want to live by others' emotions and beliefs, or do you want to be the captain of your own ship? We all live by the emotions and beliefs we feel are true, whether they are positive or negative. The gift is we can choose, and at any moment we can change directions of the emotions that we are living by. Your energy is your life force. It is your precious commodity. Don't waste that energy life you have by embracing emotions of unworthy or shame, guilt or blame. Even if in your current world it appears to be valid, You always have a choice, and this gives you so much power in your life. Just like Viktor Frankl in his book, Man's Search for Meaning, he discovers in in the concentration camps that his heart and mind can never be imprisoned without his consent. If you haven't read this book, I will invite you to. It's so beautiful and inspiring. Just like anything you desire to grow, what you feed it will determine the life of the thing you're feeding. You are an energy being vibrating in the frequency you believe is most true about you. Take a look at what emotions you are embracing daily. See how you feel. Are they life-affirming or energy-draining? This information that your beautiful body will give you is showing you what direction you can take your life. Practice the tools in the podcasts and change the way you think and feel. I understand that we can practice patterns for so long We truly believe it's just the way things are. 
but this is only true to the extent that you continue to reaffirm the emotion to be true. Remember, again, all emotion is energy in motion. So if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Nothing is really ever solid. Think about it this way. Maybe you meet someone at your work or extended family or friends, and you make a judgment on someone about who you think they are, positive or negative. Then later, you may discover some new insights or information about them that now changes the way you feel about them. This change couldn't happen if energy was solid and immovable, but it's always in motion. Even if it's incredibly slow motion, it's still moving. You can change your life when you choose to change the energy that you choose to live by. Harsh, judgmental, angry energy will break down and deconstruct your energy body if you live by it long enough. Loving, compassionate, joyful energy builds and enhances you and others around you as you choose to live by those emotions. Feed your energy field body the best of the best because you can. It will affect others and the energy fields around you. So will feeding it all the negative emotions from your old beliefs. Beliefs are only thoughts that you have thought over and over until it began to solidify itself in the same energy emotion. So an angry you, because life has been hard and people aren't good to you, is an emotion you have embraced so consistently that it began to produce evidence in your world of the same energy and so you formed a belief that it was true, because it keeps showing up. But it is malleable. It can change, but only if you change. You give these emotions a home to live in you as you have the power of the thought. The thoughts you think send out a vibrational energy into the field of energy called the universe. And those thoughts, positive or negative, create an emotion in your heart. And your heart is a big, beautiful magnet. And the way you feel begins to pull experiences or like energies into your awareness. And you experience what you feel to be true. You can't talk yourself out of a negative emotion, but you can feel your way out. Feeling is always the winner. So how you feel is important. Change the way you think to change the way you feel. There are many little exercises you can use to assist your growth and leave the old ways of being behind and become a better version of you. Here are just a few ideas. When you're in an emotion that you want to change, that's heavy and unwanted, start looking around and name things you are grateful for. It might take a minute to get it going, but you have the power to turn that ship around. Don't stop finding things of gratitude until you feel your body's energy become lighter and it changes. Another thing to do is stop and breathe. Stop the thoughts that are running amok in your head. Stop for a second and focus on taking deep breaths and feeling the air go into your lungs and back out. And notice how blessed you are to be able to breathe and make the choice to put your attention elsewhere. Another tip is when you're feeling very overwhelmed in an old negative emotion and you know it's not getting you where you want desire to be or how you want to feel, Take a breath and feel these words with your eyes closed. Isn't it wonderful? Don't answer the question. Just keep feeling it until your body and mind begin to shift. You are an empowered being. Choose with conscious intention what emotions and energies you choose to embody and live by it. What do you want to contribute to others in this world? Who do you choose to become? And then practice choosing greater every day. Discover how long you can hold a beautiful emotion, regardless of the outer circumstances. Strengthen your own inner power to master the way you feel and think. Be your own captain of your ship and direct your ship towards your heart's desires. I invite you this week to become more aware of the emotions you are living by and the energy body you're building for yourself. Take time to meditate and breathe. Change the thoughts that no longer serve you and practice feeling more gratitude for everything and watch everything in your life change as you change. Thank you for joining me on this podcast. 
please share this with others and tune in next week for another chance to learn, grow, and become a part of the greatest journey on earth, the journey to transform yourself, to empower yourself, and to extend that love to the world. You are worth it.